Final battle. Hey there, sexy. What you want? Okay, I get it. Awkward silence. And... More cutscene. I think this is gonna be a long one. A snake. Liquid. You're still alive. I won't die. As long as you still live. Too bad. It looks like your revolution was a failure. Just because you've destroyed Metal Gear doesn't mean I am done fighting. Fighting? What are you really after? A world where warriors like us are honored as we once were. As we should be. That was Big Boss's fantasy. It was his dying wish. <sighs> when he was young, during the Cold War, the world needed men like us. We were valued then. We were desired. But things... Oh, are different now. With all the liars and hypocrites running the world, war isn't what it used to be. We're losing our place in a world that no longer needs us. A world that now spurns our very existence. You should know that as well as I do. After I launch this weapon and get our billion dollars, we'll be able to bring chaos and honor back to this world gone soft. Conflict will breed conflict. New hatreds will arise. Then we'll steadily expand our sphere of influence. But as long as there are people, there will always be war. But the problem yeah. is balance. Father knew what type of a balance was best. Is that the only reason? <laughs> Isn't it reason enough for warriors such as us? I don't want that kind of world. Ha! You love me. So why ha! are you here then? Why do you continue to follow your orders while your superiors betray you? Why did you come here? <clears throat> well, I mean, part of an awesome video game. That's what. Enjoy all the killing. That's why. What? Are you denying it? Haven't you already killed most of my comrades? That yeah, I have. <laughs> I watched your face when you did it. It was filled with the joy of battle. You're wrong. There's a killer inside you. You don't have to deny it. Oh, I'm not denying you were it. You created to be that way. Created? I mean, I shot so many soldiers in this playthrough, it's not even funny. Well, it's kind of funny, actually, but... Yeah. Les enfants terribles. Les enfants the terrible terrible. That's what the project was called. It started in the 1970s. Their plan was to artificially create the most powerful soldier possible. The person that they chose as the model was the man known then as the greatest living soldier in the world. Big Boss. But Father was wounded in combat and already in a coma when they brought him in. So they created so that part is a mistranslation, apparently. So the combination of 20th century I analog cloning and the super baby method. Super baby method. They fertilized an egg with one of father's cells and then let it divide into eight clone babies. Then they transferred the clones to someone's uterus and later intentionally aborted six of the fetuses to encourage strong fetal growth. You and I were originally octopus. By the way, David octopus. and Eli. Yes. Two of eight the brothers in the Bible. Brothers were sacrificed to make us. We were accomplices in murder before the day we were even born. So it was you and I. Two fertilized eggs with exactly the same DNA. But they weren't finished yet. They used me as a guinea pig to create a phenotype in which all of the dominant genes were expressed to create you. I got all of the recessive genes. You took everything <laughs> da, da, from me da. before I was even born. My bad. But you and I aren't his only children. What? The genome soldiers. They too are his progeny, carrying on his genetic legacy. But they're different. They're digital. With the completion of the Human Genome Project, the mysteries of humanity were laid bare.
Thanks to Father's DNA, they were able to identify more than 60 soldier genes responsible for everything from strategic thinking to the proverbial killer instinct. Those mm, soldier yes. genes were transplanted into the members of the next generation special forces. That's how they became the genome soldiers. <laughs> That's right. The genome soldiers <laughs> That's right. killing are our brothers with the same genes as ours. Yeah, they're not brothers, really. The genome soldiers. That's right. They are our brothers. No, created I would artificially argue that. through the alignment of nucleotides to mimic our father's genes. They too are the product of numerous sacrifices. Sacrifices? Human experiments! <gasps> 1991, the Gulf War. So much history lesson. The military secretly Much injected wild. soldiers with the soldier genes. The Gulf War syndrome that hundreds of thousands of returning soldiers complained about was a side effect of it. Ha! Everyone knows that the Gulf War syndrome was caused by exposure to depleted uranium used in the anti-tank rounds. Gotcha there, sucker. <laughs> that was just a cover story issued by the Of course Pentagon. it was. Oh, First Kojima, you and your pseudo-history. Then chemical or biological weapons. The poison gas detection units and the anti-serin injections, they were all just a cover-up of the secret genetic experiments. So then, the so-called Gulf War babies that have been reported by Gulf War veterans are... Yes, they too are our brothers and sisters. So the genome soldiers mean that the experiments were a success? Success? Don't be a fool. They're a complete failure. Wow. We are on the verge of extinction. What? Have you ever heard of the asymmetry theory? Oh my god. This drags on for a while. Nature tends to favor asymmetry. Those species which have gone extinct all show signs of symmetry. The genome soldiers suffer from the same problem. Signs of symmetry. So do I. As do you. So Harvey Two Face, he's That's asymmetrical, right. so he's are all on the verge highly likely to survive the this level. world. We don't gotcha. know when or what type of disease will occur. Makes sense. That's why we need the old man's genetic information. You want Big Boss's DNA so you can save your family? It's very touching. In nature, family members don't mate with each other, and yet they help each other to survive. Do you know why? It increases the chance that their genes will be passed on to a new generation. Altruism among blood relatives is a response to natural selection. It's called the selfish gene theory. You're well, telling you me your genes are ordering you to save the genome soldiers? This guy's such you a nerd. Fight your Liquid? Genes. It's fate. All living things are born for the sole purpose of passing on their parents' genes. That's why I'll follow what my genes tell me. And then I'm going to go beyond. In order to break the curse of my heritage. Fantastic. Good for you. Can we can we fight? Can can I beat you up? And to no. do that, first I will kill you. Okay then. It's good to know. Alright, I think Walk uh behind you. Oh no. awkward. Is she alive? Not sure. She was alive a few hours ago. A Poor few girl hours ago. Mm -hmm. Meryl. Stupid woman. Falling Whoa. in love with a man who doesn't even have a name. I have a name. No, Steven. we have no Asshole. past, no future, and even if we did, it wouldn't be truly ours. You and I are just copies of our father, Big Boss. Let Meryl go. As soon as we've finished yeah. our business, Let her go. we're almost out of time. You're talking about Fox Tai. No. It seems now that the Pentagon knows that Mental Gear is destroyed. They've arrived at a decision. They won't even need a BDA. If you want the details, why don't you ask your precious Colonel Campbell? I'm not gonna get in a Kodak conversation, am I? Yes, I am. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, oh. I'm listening. What is the Pentagon trying to do? Colonel, answer me. The Secretary of Defense has taken over active control of this operation. He's on his way there by AWACS. What for? To bomb the place. 
What? Awkward. Not only that, B-2 bombers just lifted off from Galena Air Force Base. They're carrying B-6113 surface-piercing tactical nuclear bombs. Fantastic. What? Metal Gear is destroyed. Tell the Secretary of Defense. The Secretary of Defense heard that Naomi double-crossed us, and he's worried about Fox Die. Now that there's no more danger of a nuclear strike from Metal Gear, he's going to do whatever's necessary to cover up the truth of what really happened here. He's going to drop a nuclear bomb to vaporize all the evidence along with anyone who knows anything. Don't worry, Snake. I'll stop the nuclear strike. Woo! Go, Campbell. I may only be a figurehead here, but I'm still officially in command of this mission. If I issue an order to delay the strike, it'll confuse the chain of command and at least buy you some time. It'll give you a chance to escape. But, Colonel, if you do that... It's okay, Snake. The truth is, Foxhound was already the subject of an undercover investigation. Merrill was transferred to this base just before the terrorist attack as a way of manipulating me. Those bastards. I'm sorry. They forced me to cooperate in exchange for her life. You better get out of there, Snake. Are you sure? It'll be bad for you. Don't worry. It's the least I can do for you, after all the lies. Colonel. I'm ordering them to cancel the bombing run. After that, there's no turning back. What? What are you doing? So much bro love. What? Oh, that's awkward. What's happening Snake? now? Mei Ling, what happened to the colonel? I don't believe it. What happened? Snake the colonel. Roy Campbell has been relieved of duty. Abraham Lincoln. This is the Secretary of Defense, Jim Houseman. Put the colonel oh. back on. He's been placed under arrest for leaking top secret information and for the crime of high treason. Ridiculous. Yes, he's a ridiculous man. He truly believed that he was in command of this operation. You bastard. There won't be a speck of evidence left. I'm sure the president would want the same thing. The president ordered this? The president is a busy man. I have complete authority here. How do you plan on explaining a nuclear attack on Alaska to the media? Don't worry. We've prepared a convincing cover story. We'll simply say that the terrorists exploded a nuclear device. Smart. You'll be murdering everyone here. Smart. The scientists, the genome army, everyone. But I gotta give credit. The DARPA chief is already dead. So, you didn't mean to kill the DARPA chief after all. He was my friend. And you could care less about what happens to everybody else, huh? Well, if you give me the optic disc, I might consider saving them. What are you talking about? Metal Gear's test data. Donald was supposed to bring it back. I don't have it. I see. Oh well, that's okay. You two are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Our country's dirty little secret. You can't be allowed to live. Well, the bombs will be dropping soon, and you two have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, politicians. <laughs> There's no way out for us. Let's finish this before the airstrike. Let's get ready to rumble! You stole everything from me. Only your death can satisfy me. Only your death can return to me what is rightly mine. She'll make a beautiful sacrifice for our final battle. Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Alright, how do I this? eat this guy? Just punch him. It will be the time limit for our final battle. This nuclear module is set to detonate at the precise moment of her death. Oh. Okay then. Oh, here we go. If you win, you might still be able to save her. Okay, let, let's get this going. You could enjoy one brief moment of love. Um, the end. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's lovely and all, but I... If you cross this line, you fall. At this height, 
It will kill even you. Mm-hmm. Right. Can we get this on? Can we, can we get this going? Can we get this going? Why are we all... At you, snake. There we go. Thank you. Bitch. What's up? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't touch me. Don't freaking touch me. Oh, what's up? Oh, what? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, oh what's up? Oh, this guy sucks. Oh, crap. I missed. Seriously? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you. Oh, you think that's funny? Bitch. Yeah. Yeah, what's up? Laugh again. I dare you. I double dare you. Okay. What you gonna do? Mm. Oh, loser. I got it. Got it. There you go. Oh, that's not hitting him. What the? What, what's going on? There we go. Hey, what's up? Nice shot. That wasn't a shot. That was a kick. Yeah, what's up? So, come on, dude, do something. This is boring. What's up? Hmm. Oh, 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 okay. I see. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, Shiza. What was that? Like a dash attack. Holy crap. What's up? Ah, ah. Ah. Oh, you missed. Oh, Shiza. Okay. You know, I'm just going to keep doing this. Oh! What's up, loser? Ah, that's not fair. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I see you. Come at me, bro. Mmm! In your face, bitch. Oh, sh crap. You're out of time! Oh, no, no, no. How do I get up? How do I get up? Okay, there we go. On oh, my face. Yeah, what's up? Oh, crap. No, come on, I can make it. I can make it. Shit, I am not gonna make it. Okay. And I died! How did I die? I was winning! Alright, whatever. I was just, uh, you know, testing the waters and all that. Alright, for real now, for real. Have at you, snake. Wow. Okay, this is... This is going worse than... Oh, actually, I have three minutes now, so... That's good. God, I'm terrible, okay. What's up? Can I just, like, keep punching him? You know, like... What's wrong, snake? Yeah, and I'm just getting desperate and doing stupid stuff. Okay, so I gotta combo him. Can't just keep punching. <laughs> Get up, snake. Doing terrible. Alright. What's up? What's wrong, snake? Whoa. Why'd you do that? Nice shot. Huh. So that doesn't work. What's up? Was that a headbutt? Like, I'm not really sure what that is, really. It's going to blow! Yeah, I think I'm gonna die again. What's up, homie? There we go. There we go. Oh crap. 
Ah. It's not my face. Love the uh, weird transparent effect. Oh, what's up? Yeah, do that again. Bitch. Okay, I, I, I think I'm gonna make it this time. That extra 30 seconds helps a lot. No! Come on! Ah. Oh. All right, well, all right, for real now. Third time's the charm, I kind of get the pattern and all that jazz, whatever. All right. Have at you, snake. Start with that. Try to keep doing that. Oh, I can't even punch you. Oh, okay, I see you. It's not that funny. Get up, snake, damn it. There we go. There we go. <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny, huh? So freaking funny. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, okay, this is going a lot better. Mm-hmm. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, bitch? Too easy. Oh, crap. Oh, no, don't do that. What's wrong, snake? Shut up. Ah! Ooh, bitch. Yeah, what's up? Okay, yeah, now he's done for, for real. See? Third time's the charm. Ah! Just gotta bait him, and, uh... Things will take care of themselves. Up. Nope. Ah! Shit, you got me there. You're out of time, bitch. Oh! Just got him. I've never understood why he calls Solid Snake Snake while Solid Snake calls Liquid Snake Liquid. Because they're both snakes. Meryl. It's like calling my brother, you know. With his last name. It just makes no sense. Oh, whatever. Liquid is just liquid. Meryl? Snake? Is that you? Hell yeah, Snake. Agnes. Oh, you're alive! Thank God! Meryl? Meryl, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that all you can say? Meryl. My it pants tight, but I'm happy to see you. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I didn't give in to the torture. Torture? And things even worse than that. Oh. I was fighting too. Awkward. Just like you. You're a strong woman. Fighting them made me feel closer to you. I felt like you were there with me. It gave me the strength to go on. Sure. But I was scared. I'm sorry. Don't say that. But it made me realize something. During all the pain and shame, there was one thing I was sure of. A single Friendship. hope that I held on to. Oh. Friendship. And that hope no, kept me alive. Friendship. Snake. I wanted to see you again. Meryl. Oh. Well. That's my Kodak. Great, what now? Snake, it's me. Otacon, good news. Meryl's okay. All right. You saved her, man. Good job. I got some bad news, I do, too. Bro. We're about to be bombed. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. There's that. 
I guess we're considered expendable. Is there a way out of here? A way out? Uh, yeah. You can take the loading tunnel to the surface. There's a parking garage right next to you. The tunnel leads from there to the surface. The door in front? No. It's a small entrance to the west of that door. How about the security? I just unlocked it. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> I'll take care of security along your escape route, too. What are you going to do? Me? I... I'll stay here. Are you crazy? I need a little more time to take care of your escape route. But... Unlocking the security doors is difficult work. Only I can do it. Otacon... Don't worry. I'm staying here. It's my own decision. Otacon, this is a hardened shelter, but they're going to use a surface-piercing nuclear bomb. It won't hold. I'm through regretting the past. Life isn't all about loss, you know. Snake, da, da, da. I'm a complete person now. I've found a reason to live. Good. Don't die on me. Same to you. Take care of Merrill, okay? You'll be fine. Okay, I gotta go. I promise I'll do something about your escape route. Thanks. Thanks? Well, that sounds nice. I believe in you. No. Bro love. So much bro love. Let's get the hell out of here. What about him? Where's Otakon? You mean Otakon? Did you say Otakon? Ew! Fighting right now. Take that back! With his old self. Otakon. To be the man Shoot this bitch. Be. He's fighting for us too? Yeah. And I don't want it to be in vain. Me too. Wow, this guy's like Spider-Man. Snake. No. That was so cheesy. Oh, come on. Really? It started. I must be heavy. Ooh. Looks like we're not gonna have a lot of sneeze coming there. Looks that way. Too bad. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Snake, it's freezing outside. You need some clothes. There's my sneaking suit. <laughs> Just Hurry randomly up. lying there. Good snake. Is it the time for that? No, it ain't. <laughs> Seriously, what was that? So random. Mmm, looking good, snake. Yes. Ooh la la. Mmm. There's a tingling in my loins. Yes. Alright, let's just. Oh, no. Crashing. 